Well, I left you hanging there because now we go into the next section, which is, for me, the most exciting part of the tune, for, or the most fun to play. And we're going to go into an A minor. It's going to be... Okay, so what is this? We start with an A minor. And then our pinky reaches out to the fourth fret of the sixth string, and that is the reason that we're having a capo on the second fret. And then back to the third fret of the sixth string. So all together. And then we change into a D chord. And the D chord, though, we're leaving that high E string open so we can get that melody line. And then we go into an F chord. And then back into that G7. And now we can either resolve it and not keep you hanging. And then we would go back into our first section. So let's take a look and play this a little slower for you. A minor, reach out with that pinky. The semi D, those notes. And when you're playing this F chord, keep that high E string open. And you can put whatever you want in there, some little melody notes. And then you're off and you can either go into the first section or we can go into this section. And the same type of ending. Let's see what I did there. You slid up to this position of a C chord. It looks like a long A, but it's up on the fifth fret, so it's a C. And our bass now is alternating between the fifth, excuse me, between the fourth and the third strings. So get the melody note. Change to an F chord. This is a D position on the fifth fret, so that becomes an F, but we have an open fourth string bass, and again, still alternating between the fourth and the third. Then we go into this position, and again, still alternating between the fourth and the third. And this is sort of like a G7, still alternating between the fourth and the third. A minus seventh, still alternating between the fourth and the third. And then into our closing type of riff. So let's try doing this with a split screen. What we'll do is the A minor, and then I'll go up onto the fingerboard. There is one other variation we can do, which is sort of cool. You, after going out of the G, and before entering the A minor, you can do that chord. And then you go into the A minor section. So what is that? That's just going to be a C chord, but without our second uh, first fret of the second string being fingered so we have a lovely suspended sound and then we're going to add the index finger onto the first fret of the third string so it's and keeping that bass nice and steady alternating and then just finishing up the A minor phrase
Okay, so let's try to go to the split screen. I'll start off with that A minor section and then try to do up the neck and then also do this variation. Let's do it. 